Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Let x, y, and z be complex numbers such that x plus y plus z equals 2, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 10, and x, y, z equals 13. Now the question is, what is the value of 1 over xy plus z minus 1 plus 1 over yz plus x minus 1 plus 1 over xz plus y minus 1. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. Given that x, y, and z are all complex numbers and these three equations, then our goal is to evaluate 1 over x, y plus z minus 1 plus 1 over y, z plus x minus 1 plus 1 over x, z plus y minus 1. Now, how are we going to answer this question? Now, first thing to notice is the denominators of these fractions. They are look similar to each other. So, let's focus to one of them. Let's focus first on xy plus z minus 1. Now, notice on the first equation, it is given that x plus y plus z equals 2. Now, let's solve for the value of z. If you do that, we get z equals 2 minus x minus y. Now, let's substitute the value of z in this expression. So, this will give us xy plus the quantity 2 minus x minus y. This is just z, then minus 1. Let's combine similar terms. 2 minus 1 is just 1, and then just copy minus x and minus y. So, we have xy minus x minus y plus 1. Now, take note that this expression can be factored as x minus 1 times y minus 1. Therefore, we can replace xy plus z minus 1 as x minus 1 times y minus 1. Now, we will do the same thing on the second denominator yz plus x minus 1. Again, given on the first equation that x plus y plus z equals 2, therefore, we can say that the value of x must be 2 minus y minus z. And then, let's simplify again. 2 minus 1 is just 1. So, we have an expression yz minus y minus z plus 1. And also take note that this expression can be factored as y minus 1 times z minus 1. Thus, we can replace this yz plus x minus y with y minus 1 times z minus 1. Now, using the same process, we can say that this yz plus y minus 1 can be written as x minus 1 times z minus 1. Now at this point, let's combine these three fractions. But before that, make sure that their denominators must be the same. So let's multiply the first term by z minus 1 over z minus 1. The second term, let's multiply by x minus 1 over x minus 1. Of course, the last term, let's multiply by y minus 1 over y minus 1. Now, since we have the same denominator, we can combine them. If we do that, we get x minus 1 plus y minus 1 plus z minus 1 all over x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1. Now, let's simplify the numerator. This is equivalent to x plus y plus z minus 3. And on the denominator, if we multiply x minus 1, to y minus 1, then after that, we multiply the result by z minus 1, we get this expression, xyz minus the quantity xy plus yz plus xz plus the quantity x plus y plus z minus 1. I skip that step because I know you can multiply x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1. So let's continue. Take note that we have a value for x plus y plus z. This is just 2. 
So we can replace this x plus y plus z with 2. Also take note that the value of x, y, z is 13. So we can replace this x, y, z with 13. Now let's simplify. 2 minus 3 is just negative 1. 13 plus 2 minus 1 is just 14. So our expression now becomes negative 1 over 14 minus the quantity x, y plus y, z plus x, z. Now, how do we get this value? Now, notice that we use already the first equation and the third equation. So now, I think we need to use the second equation. So let's get first the first equation. And what we're going to do is to square on both sides. Now, on the right side, 2 squared is very easy. This is just 4. And x plus y plus z squared is equivalent to x plus y plus z multiply by itself. So x plus y plus z times x plus y plus z. Now, if we multiply those two factors, this will give us x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2 times the quantity xy plus yz plus xz. Now, take note, given this second equation, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is just 10, so we can replace this expression with 10. Now, let's solve for the value of xy plus yz plus xz. Let's subtract 10 on both sides. And then, let's divide both sides by 2. This will give us the value of xy plus yz plus xz must be negative 3. So, we can replace this expression with negative 3. Now, let's simplify. 14 minus negative 3 is just 17. And negative 1 over 17 is just negative 1 over 17. Therefore, given this 3 equation and x, y, z is an element of a complex number, then the value of the expression 1 over x, y plus z minus 1 plus 1 over y, z plus x minus 1 plus 1 over x, z plus y minus 1 must be negative 1 over 17. And as always, we are done.